me afterwards and said, what a great success it's going to be. It's been a catastrophe for the people of Iraq. It's been a catastrophe for the whole world. And now, of course, there is the threat, um, both from George Bush in his final year and John McCain, the Republican presidential nominee, that there could be an attack on Iran. Hey, I want to see peace in the Middle East. That means all states should get rid of the nuclear weapons. And I would like to see Israel decommission its 200 nuclear weapons. And if we're serious about peace, we should be doing so as well. There's absolutely no justification for Britain spending 80 billion pounds on a new generation of nuclear weapons. That's money that we could use to transform this country and make a major contribution to alleviating poverty. Now, I'm really proud that whilst we debate all the London issues and the domestic issues, we're here with Tony Benn, who's campaigned for peace over so many issues, so many wars, for so many years. And I'd like to say a few words to Well, this is not a personal campaign, but I must tell you that Ken Livingston is the greatest Londoner of my generation. And I feel very, very We met, I think, probably in the 70s when he was yeah. first elected to the GLC. And uh, Mrs. 1975, I remember now. Oh, there you are. It'll be in my diary, so I <laughs> But uh, so strong and powerful was the GLC in those days that the Prime Minister herself decided to abolish democracy in London. And it was an amazing thing that anyone could contemplate that. I have a feeling about it because my grandfather was the leader of the old LCC in 1904, supported the Irish cause as you did, supported the public ownership of the ports of London and peace and so on. So I have a family interest in it as well. But Ken stuck it out and then became the first mayor at the time uh, didn't have the support he should have had from the Labour Party but now they've realised what a mistake they made and what he says is right it is about peace it is about justice it is about fellow feeling with people from all over the world and London is such an exciting place my grandparents at primary school in London was all the primary there were 77 nationalities and a refugee and when I used to go and talk there, it's like addressing the General Assembly of the United Nations. And if you tried to talk to them about multiculturalism, they wouldn't know what you're talking about, because they've got Muslim friends, American friends, Jamaican friends, Chinese friends, and that is the world we live in. And London is, in that sense, the centre of the world. It's the place where, you know, the Americans used to say they were the melting pot. Well, if they were the melting pot, we are the pressure cooker. Where all these cultures and religions contribute, and the future depends upon that. And countries are very big, but cities mean more to people. I was born in London, lived in London all my life. I'm a Londoner, it's my village. And to see Ken there gives me a lot of confidence. And I think that people will vote for him. I, I, I'm very high in regard to the intelligence of people, Ken. And when they see the choice, how could anybody do other than the them? Now, gentlemen, we've got Heavenly Circus Sessions in Oklahoma.